Microsoft Teams has a new meeting type called virtual appointments. And if you're anything like me, you might be wondering how are they any different than the standard meeting we have already? Let's click on virtual appointment and find out. Virtual appointments are ideal when you're working with people who are outside of your organization in this context called external guests. These are people that you might be doing business with, but not often enough that you need to invite them into your team's environment through a business to business relationship. Think of things like vendors or clients, sales calls, maybe even consulting type calls. In this example, I'm going to pretend that I am booking a discovery call with a potential client. I have their name and email address, which I'm gonna pop into the external guest fields, and then I can continue filling out the meeting form like I normally would. This includes adding your date and time and any additional attendees who may work within the same company that you do. You are going to add any details you deem necessary. Before you send the meeting invite, I wanna share a tip. A lot of people ask me how to stop the external participants from forwarding the invite to additional people. Well, just like a normal meeting, you can go to the response options and remove the check mark next to allow forwarding. My sample meeting is set up, so I'm going to go back to the right side of the screen and click send. I'm going to open the meeting as the event organizer but now I'm going to log into my phone and I want you to notice that I do not have the Teams app on my phone. This is where virtual appointments are useful. As the participant, I don't have to install Teams on my device. I will automatically be prompted to join from the web. As an external guest, I will enter a name and then click get started. Now, depending on your phone setup, you may need to get permission for the camera and the microphone. Then the pre-join experience will pop up. Click Enter Lobby. This will check you into the meeting and the organizer will be notified that the external guest is waiting in the lobby. Another benefit is as the external guest, I was not prompted to sign in to any Microsoft account in order to join this meeting. I'm going to switch hats and join the meeting as the organizer. You will know when an external guest is waiting in the lobby because you will see a number next to the people icon in the toolbar at the top right side of the screen. When I click on that icon, a pane opens on the right. At the top, you can see the names of anyone who is in the lobby. To let them in, click the check mark icon next to the name. And that's it, you and your external guest are now ready to get the meeting started. Drop me a comment below and let me know how you are using Microsoft Team Meetings and if you've used these virtual appointments yet. In the meantime, you can learn more about Microsoft Teams and Teams Meetings in the playlist that's on the screen now.